The Bible in Jeremiah 10 verse 6 says, No one is like you, Lord. You are great and your name is mighty in power. Now, if you find yourself walking through a heightened level of spiritual warfare, if you find yourself at the receiving end of an assault from the enemy, then there is something that I believe every Christian man and woman listening right now should know. And that's this. Whatever you need, it can be found in his name. In the name of Jesus Christ. His name is mighty in power. When Peter, in the book of Acts, saw a lame beggar at the temple gates, Peter said, Silver or gold I do not have, but what I do have I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. The lame man was begging. He was, he was after money, food perhaps. But Peter only had the name of Jesus Christ. And that name, the name that is above all other names, gave the lame beggar something far more valuable than silver, gold, or food. It gave him divine healing. The name of Jesus made him whole again. It made him strong again. The name of Jesus brought restoration into his life. You see, every name carries significance to someone. A son's name will be distinct in his mother's ears. The name of a famous entertainer, it will be unmistakable to his or her fans. The name of a president will be well known and respected in their country. And sadly, the name of certain historical figures who were dictators or who committed horrible crimes, their names will evoke emotion in the ears of certain groups of people. You see, every name carries weight, whether it's for good or for evil. However, <laughs> there is one name, one name that is above every other name. And that is the name of Jesus Christ. It's the only name that can bring salvation. It's the only name that can make a way where there seems to be no way. You see, Jesus Christ is the only name that can bring life to a dead situation. You could be outnumbered, outmatched, outsmarted by your enemy. But so long as you believe, so long as you believe in the name of Jesus, you will have power. You will have the victory. And so today I want to speak to that person that's in the middle of some kind of battle. You may be in a situation that's tough. It may be difficult and it's affecting your peace of mind. Whatever situation you find yourself in, I need you to understand this. All you need can be found in his name, in the name of Jesus Christ. You may be under attack in some area of your life. You have tried everything to resolve it. But nothing is working. Nothing is changing. Dear friend, this is the time you ought to take a stand and believe. Believe in the power of the blood of Jesus. It will break you out of that bondage. Believe in the power that's in the blood of Jesus Christ. It can set you free. It can give you victory. And it can loose you from any evil hold. It's time to take a stand with the word of God against the forces of evil. Stand firm. Stand in confidence. Stand in righteousness. Psalm 56 verse 3 says, When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. In God whose word I praise. In God I trust, I shall not be afraid. What can flesh do to me? We need to be men and women who put their trust in the Lord. And mind you, you will only ever be able to stand firm when your trust is secured in the Lord. So if you feel stuck, if you feel under attack, remember that the Bible says in Psalm 31, Verse 24, be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who wait for the Lord. Be strong, saints, and stand in faith. As you do this, the Lord is sure to rescue you. And so as children of God, I believe, I believe that it's time to stand. Stand up and lift high his royal banner. 
You are an ambassador of the Most High. Stand up to the lies of the enemy. Stand up with the truth of the gospel. Stand up with the strength of the Holy Spirit. Stand up in God's strength. And I encourage you, as you stand in faith, pray and ask the Lord to be with you as you stand. Take confidence in the fact that in Revelation 1 verse 8, he said, I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. And so let's go before the throne of God in the name of the Almighty One, Jesus Christ. Let's lay our troubles, our sorrows, our cares at his feet. Whatever it is that we're facing today, let's be reminded that nothing and nobody has a name that is greater than the name of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Dear Lord, our protector, our great defender, our shield and refuge, we bow before you today and, and Lord, we praise your holy name. No other name in this world has ever had or will ever have the impact that the name of Jesus Christ has. There is no other name that saves. There is no other name that can heal apart from the name of Jesus. No other name apart from Jesus Christ can mend broken homes or restore life and joy into a person. The name of Jesus Christ delivers and it brings forgiveness and freedom. So today, Lord, we declare that you are the author and the finisher of our faith. You are the risen one, the almighty one. When we speak the name of Jesus Christ, every sickness has to bow. Every disease has to leave. Every chain has to loose. Everything in both heaven and hell has to take notice of that powerful name. And so your name, Lord, is the only name that we will bow down to. Lord Jesus, as I pray for every ear that's listening right now, I declare the blessing that is in Psalm 20 over our lives. The Bible says, May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. May the name of the God of Jacob defend you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and strengthen you out of Zion. May he remember all your offerings and accept your burnt sacrifice. Selah. May he grant you according to your heart's desire and fulfill all your purpose. We will rejoice in your salvation and in the name of our God, we will set up our banners. May the Lord fulfill all your petitions. Now I know that the Lord saves his anointed. He will answer him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. They have bowed down and fallen, but we have risen and stand upright. Save, Lord. May the King answer us when we call. In the day of trouble, we will certainly run to you, King Jesus. We will take refuge in you, and we will put our trust in your name. If we need deliverance, we look to you as our great deliverer, who is more than able to lift us up and pull us out from any pit of despair. If we need an army of protection, you, O oh Lord, are the Lord of hosts, the one who has millions of angels at your command. If we hunger, Lord Jesus, you are the bread of life. If we thirst, you are the fountain of living water. And so we place you, King Jesus Christ, at the center of our lives, at the center of our hearts. May you be exalted far and above everything in our lives. We give you the throne to our hearts because when you are present, miracles begin. Where your presence is, that's where our victory begins. That's where our breakthrough begins. We rejoice, Lord Jesus, because of who you are to us. The Bible says in Isaiah 9, verse 6, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Be praised both now and forevermore. We honor you, dear Lord, and we thank you for hearing this prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. 
No one is like you, Lord. You are great and your name is mighty in power. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. May the name of the God of Jacob defend you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and strengthen you out of Zion. May he remember all your offerings and accept your burnt sacrifice. Selah. May he grant you according to your heart's desire and fulfill all your purpose. We will rejoice in your salvation and in the name of our God, we will set up our banners. May the Lord fulfill all your petitions. Now I know that the Lord saves his anointed. He will answer him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. They have bowed down and fallen, but we have risen and stand upright. Save, Lord. May the King answer us when we call. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. In God whose word I praise, in God I trust, I shall not be afraid. What can flesh do to me? Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who wait for the Lord. Be strong, saints, and stand in faith. 